Yeah, Bowser YouTube, how's it going everybody? Got for you guys today a showdown live and I actually just did this live and yes, I clicked record, I promise you I clicked record but in the middle of my third match my power got cut off because they were working on, on, on a power pole down the line uh, because of the storm for those of you who live, who live on the eastern side of America you know what I'm talking about but yeah, uh, power's back now, so hopefully I can get this done. And uh, this should be going up on Tuesday with another video, hopefully, um, just to make up for Sunday. And I didn't have the time Monday to upload a second video, but I should have it. I should have the extra time for Tuesday. And uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of great things, hopefully, to come uh, by next week if everything goes um, if everything goes okay. But yeah, anyways, uh, you kind of seen the team. Uh, we have good old Choice Specs Swallow, which is really, really awesome. Uh, in my last new live, I used uh, Guts, and uh, this time I wanted to try out uh, Specs. The reason why I have Modest over Timid is because we do have um, Scarf Lilligant with uh, Thunder Wave Regirock here, which the only reason I'm using Regirock over Rhydon or Celix is because of Thunder Wave, and um, this is also not four times weak to rocks. Not, not four times weak to water or grass. Uh, it is, it is not weak to rocks though. So this is a really cool Samurott set I saw on the Smogon thread for um, underrated sets and it's running Hydro Pump because it's actually used to be able to um, to a KO any physical walls that would normally uh, take on SD Samurott. Uh, Zatoot's to a KO'd, um, Weezing is to a KO'd. Uh, you can catch a lot of things off guard with this set which is uh, really really nice I really do like this set on this team and actually uh, I, I'm not normally a big fan of like question of the day but let me know what uh, weird sets you guys use in NU because um, I'm, I'm finding it kind of hard to know what to build teams around so if you guys have some fun sets that you like to use um, maybe I can uh, try them out on a team or something or build a team around them uh, just because uh, we are nearing the end of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire so yeah, I'm running out of ideas for things, but let me know in the comment section below, please. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you do enjoy the live, then uh, make sure to hit the like button as well. So we do have a um, yet another Garboder here with a bit of extra speed EVs to outspeed opposing Garboder. We have uh, 230 speed Hitmonchan. Normally, uh, this runs 128 HP and 128 speed, but I went with 168 speed to be able to outspeed um, mainly mainly Milk Tank. And what what speed is Omastar? It outspeeds plus speed natured base 55s if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's also able to outspeed base natured uh, plus speed natured base 55 mons. And uh, <laughs> Dwayne the Ranger Rock Johnson. I really like that nickname. But yeah, guys. So hopefully, uh, hopefully my power doesn't go out this time and we can uh, we can get this started. So yeah. And uh, we got the first match here. This team is absolutely terrifying. I don't want to face this at all. Why? Why are you using Mesprit? No, Mesprit. Mesprit is like the hugest issue to my team, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to lead Swallow. I think I'm going to lead Swallow. Uh, no, I wanted to move. Uh, as, he lo as, he loves, as he does lead Mesprit, uh, I'm just going to Boom Burst. As in comes the lantern, so we get off a nice 38% on that. So he's definitely assault vested. Um, I should be able to switch into Regirock here, as he does just end up going for the Volt Switch. So he should have Defog Skun Tank, as he ends up bringing in the uh, Samurott of his own. I don't really have a safe switch into this. Uh, I'm gonna try to switch into Garbodo here, as he is special. Okay, that actually really sucks. Um, so he's gonna hydro pump again. As I really just want to predict him to switch into the Skun Tank here. So I'm gonna double into Regirock here. As he's gonna bring in the Skun Tank. So I could go for the rocks here or I could try to Earthquake. I'm gonna try an Earthquake here on the off chance that he uh, decides to go for Taunt maybe. As he brings in the lantern, that's really great. As it just died, what? <laughs> I was not expecting that to just drop. So back comes this samurai. This has got to be like specs or something. 
That's doing a lot of damage. That's doing too much damage. Um, I can't over predict here. I can't over predict. I'm just gonna ice punch the mess as it comes in. Uh, we'll see if it's leftovers or not. No. So he's definitely gotta be specs, and I have no safe switch in except my Reggie Rock here. Uh, if he U turns, that'd be a really, really good play on his part. We should be able to chew two Psy Shocks with Reggie Rock, um, and hopefully get a Brox. Oh, that does so much damage. So much damage. Good lord, your specs beyond all belief. So, I'm just going to T-Wave here. Because we can live another Psychic. And then we can get a Brox from there. Yeah. Yeah, Mesprit is like uh, one of the biggest threats to this team. I noticed after I finished making it. Uh, there's no real safe switch and if he had Psy Shock, I think we would have been able to switch into that a little bit easier as he is gonna switch into the Samurott unfortunately ah, I was really hoping this wouldn't come in um, I have no switch -ins. I'm gonna try to get a Brox here as unfortunately he gets paralyzed so of course that is good for us as I'm just gonna spam Rock Slide here for right now because we do have the Paraflinch chance and uh, he can always break through and hit the Hydro Pump in that case. Oh! <laughs> I kind of feel bad about this, but this thing is such a giant, giant threat as he ends up going for Lockwood. So he wasn't Specs, he was probably... Actually, it would have been pretty cool if he was the same set that I was running. Um, but I think he was doing way too much to be uh, no special attack. As he ends up bringing in the Regirock, so we just hacked Samurai down. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about that. I kind of do. Uh, I guess my Samurai can come in here now. And I really want Swords Dance, but I'm just going to Hydro Pump because nothing switches in. As in comes a Skun Tank, that's fine with me. Ooh! Ooh, that damage! Ooh, that damage is beautiful. So Aqua Jet should pick this off, which is really great. As Aftermath is going to deal a little bit of damage to us. Um, do I sack Swallow here? I think I can sack Swallow. But no, Swallow... I don't want to sack Swallow. Mesprit, maybe? Because we can still keep Regirock. We still need Regirock. Um, maybe Hitmonchan. I think I'll just sack Hitmonchan here. As he does Psychic just destroying us and Swallow should be able to come in here and Heat Wave. Yeah, I'd rather Heat Wave instead of Boom Bursting because there's a chance he'll switch into Steelix here, which is really, really great because he's just going to get 2 it KO'd. So he's going to switch back into the Mesprit. That, um, okay. Yeah, that's, that's game. Even if this is Scarf Scyther, there's no way he should... He should be able to win here. As, yeah, uh, the match was pretty much ours. So, Swallow coming through. Oh, Jedi Waffles. I faced this dude earlier. Oh, I don't want to face this man again. This dude's team is it's pretty scary. Uh, if he leads Vivion, that would be really annoying. See, I don't know how well Aurorus... Yeah, he could be Sash. I don't want to deal with, like, Sash Aurorus or something. I'm going to lead... I'm gonna lead him on chain. I'm gonna lead him on chain here. As he does lead Aurorus. Uh, do I just want a close combat? I could Ice Punch. I really want to Ice Punch. Yeah, this is why I had enough speed to out to be Milk Tank. We should be able to out to be Milk Tank if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I am mistaken. Hold on, hold on. I think I did my math wrong. I think I may have done my math wrong. Oh, I did do my math wrong. It's 236, not too... Uh, well, I mean, it's fine. We can still outspeed base 55s. I'm just going to close combat. Ah, oh, as he makes the switch in the Haunter, I really wanted to Ice Punch. I really, really wanted to Ice Punch there. Really, really wanted to Ice Punch there. Uh... Swallow shouldn't be a bad switch in here. Even with the burn, it should be fine. As he does in the burning, I could just Willow or U-turn. I'm a U-turn. Because there's no reason he should stay in here. There's zero reason he should want to stay in here. 
as he does end up bringing in the Aurorus. And I could just bring in my Lilligant here. If that is Zap Zipper Milk Tank, that would be really annoying. I just feel Aurorus. Uh, Lilligant. Let's see, let's see. Unfortunately, we don't have the Life Orb, but we do have the Leaf Storm. So Leaf Storm will straight nuke this. But if that is... Uh, yeah, because this milk tank has toxic if I'm not mistaken. So I could just bring back in this, or I could also bring this in. Actually, wait, he has no switch ins to a hydro pump. What am I doing? I'm clicking hydro pump here. What is your switch in? Okay, so for some reason, I thought that this would be faster than Samurai. I don't know why. Yeah, even if we were uh, plus attack nature, we should still outspeed him here. Hydro pump should just nuke this. Uh, worst case, he stays in and freeze dries, but we can still live. Or I guess he could go for the raw. Ah, come on. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> it is 80 accuracy, so I'm not going to get too upset. But it does suck that we missed. As he's going to bring in the milk tank. That's, that's annoying. It's really annoying. Um, I'm going to spike here. <sighs> we may have been able to 2 KO with this milk tank. If it was physically defensive, which I don't know. I don't remember. Let's see. Hmm. Hydro pump with the CS in. So yeah, we would have easily 2 KO'd him. Easily 2 KO'd him, but we missed. As in comes the Kabutops. I should just Drain Punch this, right? Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. So we get a crit back on him. Oh, no, he critted me earlier, right? I think he critted me earlier. Maybe I'm thinking of another match. My mind is like all over the place right now. Uh, He could try to switch into Haunter. So I almost want to double in to Samurai or Swallow. Aurorus is only taking like 30% from Boom Burst. Hmm. These rocks are really annoying. I'm going to double into Samurai here. Expecting the Haunter. And I'm just going to Hydro Pump. If he burns me, it would suck, but we can always healing wish, I guess. But Hydro Pump should 2 KO Milk Tank as he misses! Okay, so I'll take that, actually. I'll take that over the two Hydro Pump misses, because now we don't have to healing wish with Lulu again. Okay, so while it does suck for my opponent, it did suck that I missed those two Hydro Pumps, because like I said, I could have knocked that Milk Tank, but it's okay. It's okay. That's, that's kind of justifiable, I guess, as he could bring in the Vivion. Vivion is a huge... Huge issue at plus one. Uh, I faced another person that was using Vivion and it was Specs, I think. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Vivion lately. I don't know why. Like, is this becoming like a lot more more popular or something? Uh, the only problem with me switching in the Swallow is look, if I switch in the Swallow. He's gonna hurricane. If I stay in, he's gonna sleep powder. Like I know that's what's gonna happen. I know that's what's gonna happen. And this is where having um Yeah, actually, he should Well no. W w should he quiver dance here? I'm just gonna aqua jet, I think. I'm still gonna aqua jet. Okay. Uh Regirock should still be able to take this on 1v1. Yeah, if I had switched in the Swallow there, that would have been a decent play. As he does Quiver Dance, that's fine. Like, what, what are you doing to me? I should be able to T-Wave. T-Wave. <laughs> I should be able to T-Wave whenever it comes in. Malamar could be a bit of a nuisance. I gotta watch out for that. Um, Yeah, and unfortunately, Swallow is burned. But between Lilligan and Swallow, I should be able to take down Malamar. Uh, he could bring in the milk tank. That would be a little bit annoying because if I'm not mistaken, it does have toxic. In which case, I could just bring in Garboder and just start spiking. 
He could try to bring in the Kabutops, but if he wants to try and knock me out, that's fine. Yeah, so the reason why I wanted to T-Way was on the off chance that maybe he wanted to switch. As we're able to clean knock him out there. So, no longer worried about Vivion. Still a little worried about Malamar. Uh, Aurora shouldn't 2 a KO Hitmonchan at the amount of HP that I'm at. As in comes the Malamar. I'm gonna just try to get a Brox here. I'm gonna try and get a Brox here, I think. As he'll probably knock off for superpower right off the bat. Okay. Um. I want to save Regirock for the Milk Tank, but I don't. I don't really see the need in doing so. So he is gonna um, superpower twice. Now, if we can rock slide him, we can maybe put him in a scenario where he has to go for rest. Or he could just break through, which is fine too. That doesn't bother me. Um, I need to bring in Swallow here. I need to Boom Burst, unfortunately. Uh, we are modest though. So we should still do a, a significant amount of damage. As he rests. So that could be a little bit bad. Uh, hmm. I'm hoping Lilligant can knock him out with Leaf Storm here. This is where him putting Samurott to sleep does kind of suck. As If he doesn't pull an offensive move, I think that maybe we can still win. If not, then Malamar may just straight sweep here. Yeah. In which case, I shouldn't have let Samurott be put to sleep. I should have switched in the Swallow. I'm pretty sure he can knock me out with knockoff at this point. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, Leaf Storm does have a decent amount of power. It does have a decent amount of power, but unfortunately, lives. Please don't pull it off. It's a bomb. Yeah. Liv! <laughs> Ah, okay. So we're in a we're in a bit of a scenario now. Oh, we're in a bit of a scenario now. Please tell me you knock this out. Come on, this we're adamant. Max attack. Well, almost max attack. Yeah, yeah. We should still knock him out here. Actually, I think Hitmonchan may be able to win us the match. Yeah, Hitmonchan. Should win us this match, unless that's a speedy Malamar, which it's not, and it luckily does get knocked out. <laughs> huh? If he had, if he had got knockoff over, over superpower there, then I would have been a little less worried, and a little less hesitant to bring in him on Chan. But he did pull uh, offensive moves. I mean, it was only a 33% chance, so can't be too upset at that. As in comes the Aurorus, and. He knows that at this point the match is pretty much over and he's just gonna leave. So two pretty solid, solid games. Uh, let's get another one. Uh, I'm gonna try and get this match in another match. And oh no, a new ladder tour. So this dude knows what he's doing, which absolutely terrifies me. <laughs> um, looking at leads, he could just lead Lantern. I kind of want to lead Hitmonchan. Yeah, so both of these, both our first matches were looking bleak in my opinion. So maybe this match isn't isn't going to be as bad as I'm, I'm thinking it'll be. But yeah, unfortunately Lantern can just really Volt Switch on my whole team. The only reason I want to lead with Regirock is to be able to get a Brox. That wouldn't be too bad, but if he leads right on, that would be severely annoying. Hmm. Jinx could also be a lead. I'm gonna just lead him on Chan. No! <laughs> the absolute worst matchup I could have asked for. So I'm gonna hard switch into this right here. What? So he stayed in. As unfortunately, he misses the gunk shot. 
Uh, we are probably just going to start spike stacking here from the looks of it. Hmm. So T-spikes are, are more annoying to my team. Actually, no. I mean, yeah, we both have the same amount of Pokemon that touch the ground. So I should just get up a T-spike here as well. Um, I could force him into ride on. Ride on unfortunately completely stops my swallow set. Would we have been able to knock out Garbodor? I don't know. I mean, we are modest. Let me see. So unfortunately, even modest would have knocked him out, but we would have lived a gunk shot. Uh, it's fine though. So. Yeah, we should be able to T-Spike here. And even if you force in the Himonchan, that's fine. I mean, even if you force back in the Garbodor to get rid of the T-Spike, that's fine because it'll still be taking that initial spike damage. So yeah, I'm not I'm not too concerned here. As he is he's taking a sweet time. Alright, so he ended up staying in, as we're both going to trade hazards at this point. I want a gunk shot, I really really do want a gunk shot. I'm going to gunk shot here. Oh, as he does switch into the ride on, so we are going to be able to miss, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, hmm. The only problem with hard switching into Swellow, is that we come nowhere near close to knocking out right on but he could just earthquake is a problem <clears throat> I'm gonna switch in him on Chan here maybe this was a bad play uh, no he just ends up getting up the rocks close combat unfortunately will not knock him out but we are going to be able to chip away at him as we just barely live, but the Toxic will finish us off. So, I could just bring in Samurott here. That's what I'm thinking. And just Hydro Pump. Or do I Mega Horn? Yeah, there's no way he's staying in here. There's no way he's staying in here. Oh, as in comes the Garboder, unfortunately. Oh, uh, we do have the Hydro Pump, though. So, yeah, if I had just Hydro Pump there, that would have been pretty great. That would have been pretty great. I cannot give him a free switch into the Jinx. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. So, <laughs> I'm able to hit the less accurate move. <laughs> I'm not... <laughs> it's just funny. Watch this be Boom Burst. Oh, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. So yeah, he could pull a double here. Uh, but he's not. Uh, unfortunately though, he does get a crit. So I'm just going to Earthquake here. As Earthquake does hit his entire team on switching. And it should still do a lot to Lantern, especially if it's Assault uh, Vested. So, he could be Timid. That would be a little scary. I don't want a T-Wave on the off chance that he does bring in the Lantern. Which, I mean, I don't really see why he wouldn't bring in Lantern here. Or bring in Rhydon, potentially. But yeah, this one little spike is really, really great because outside of the Swallow, his whole team is grounded. So we're going to get off an initial 12% of whatever comes in. The fact that he got that crit really doesn't matter. So <laughs> I'm not upset about it. But unfortunately, us missing Hydro Pump there uh, pretty much forced in Regirock. Um, not forced in Regirock, but forced in... Garboder, which I'm guessing he wanted me to uh, switch into Regirock. That way he could get me poisoned and then uh, just wear me down. Which isn't uh, bad for him at all. But it's kind of nice to see that he's actually taking time to make his plays. But like I said, there's really no reason for me to not just Earthquake. Like, why would you stay in? If anything, he's going to bring in Hitmonchan or Rhydon. I think it's a little risky for him to bring in Lantern. And I'm pretty positive he's not going to bring in a Jinx. If I was him, I would bring a Lantern, is, is what I'm saying. And I'm just trying to ramble on until he finally decides to make a turn. Uh, make a move, uh, I should say, sorry. 
Um, Scarf Lilligant could win us this match still. It depends how much we're doing the swallow. Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> uh, Lilligant is doing with Leaf Song. Oh, so we're doing a clean 63 to 74%. So all we need to do is get off rocks damage, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, okay, well no. He can still live off the rocks, but we just gotta get off a little bit of chip damage. As, um, I'm guessing he left? So, this dude has a Mantine, uh, which is slightly annoying to my draft. Not my draft, why did I say draft? To my team. Um... Looking at Leeds, Persian is what he has a, a really interesting team with like the 100% counter to most of my squad in man time. So that's that's really great. Uh, I almost want to lead him on chain. I really don't see why him on chain is a bad lead here. I'm gonna lead him on chain as he does lead Golem. I'm gonna go straight for the close combat. Well, actually, no, I should ice punch first. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm gonna ice punch first. Just because he could have Custop Berry. So if I go for Ice Punch, I won't put him in Custop Berry range. As he does live, so I should be able to... I kind of want to spin. I'm going to spin here, expecting him to want to switch out. I don't really see why he should want to stay in here, knowing that I can just uh, switch up moves. As he just stays in. So that works out perfect for him. As I'm gonna mock punch, hoping that he would go for the go for the sucker punch, but he's not gonna get rocks. I, however, will get rocks, which is really nice. So I'm gonna bring in Swallow here, as he ends up bringing in the Ditto. So now he knows that I am I am Boom Burst, and the problem with that is he can just U-turn here. Ah, I was really hoping he wouldn't U-turn. I was really hoping he wouldn't U-turn. So I think I'm going to have to T-Wave this Mantine. Yeah, because there's no other way I can I can take this Mantine down. I need to T-Wave this and just kind of pummel it with... Raw. Oh, what? What? Hello? I was not prepared. And how do you... How do you... <coughs> oh, I'm sick. Oh, I can taste the mucus. Gross. How? How do you? How do you hit? <laughs> I lost. I lost this match. Man time. Man, the one Pokemon you barely ever see on the ladder is just putting in. So the both times I've seen Mantine, it's been offensive. It's just that's just my luck. <laughs> Oh, I'm... I don't know. The other matches seemed bleak. And we still won. So maybe we can we can, we can can win this one, maybe. If this was regular old Lilligant then instead of Scarf, maybe I could win here. I was... I was not expecting Hydro Pump. This is... It's annoying. <laughs> I was... What? He's gonna hit- No! Don't bring it back! No! <laughs> I'm dying. Please don't hit me with the Hydro Pump. <laughs> what? No. Hold up. Hold up. Crit! Oh, lift. Poison, yes! <laughs> we have some justice. <laughs> we have some justice. Can I SD here? I really just want to SD with Samurai. How much will Persian take? From Samurai. No, we are... Naive... With the C Essence. A plus two. Uh, Aqua Jet does not quite knock him out. And he could just be... Jolly Fake Out. Which would really suck. I need a switch here pretty much into either Lilligan or Samurott. 
I guess I'll bring in Samurai here. As he... Justice! <laughs> Justice! I'm gonna sword Zince. <laughs> what? It's... It's just funny. I just... Oh my... What? What? <laughs> this thing is too powerful. Get this Mantine away from me. Please get this Mantine away from me. No! Come on! I hate this game! <laughs> I lived! Yes! Please don't miss! Don't miss! Yes! <laughs> I hate this game. I hate this game. It gets too emotional. It gets me too emotional. Oh my god, the power! The power! <laughs> okay. Okay. This whole match, I'm sorry, this whole match was just was just so hilarious to me from start to finish. Um I'm sorry guys. I know I didn't really commentate it, but like there's nothing I can do against Mantine. Like <laughs> And then he healing wished with Ditto and just Oh my lord this my heart can't take this. My heart I'm I'm sick. I have asthma. I my heart can't take this. <laughs> oh my lord, my heart is racing. Uh being sick when you have asthma is pretty pretty terrible for those of you who don't know. So be happy if you don't have asthma. But yeah. Uh I don't I don't see how he can win here at this point. Because Lilligan can just outspeed because we're Scarfed. And as long as we don't miss Leaf Storm, we should be fine. So, let's see. Not Life Orb again. Leaf Storm. So, yeah. We should clean knock him out. How much will Giga Drain do? Giga Drain would do about 50%. So, he is Nasty Plot as uh, Drain Punch should put him in range of Leaf Storm. Actually, puts him in range of Giga Drain, which is even better because now we don't have to risk missing Leaf Storm, which knowing my luck and knowing how this battle's been going, I'd miss. But it's all good because we do have this nice scarfed Lilligant with that nice Giga Drain. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That was an emotional roller coaster of a battle. All right, so I was uh, gonna end the live off, but I forgot that the third battle my opponent left, uh, which I'll leave in. Uh, so yeah, this is the official. Uh, last battle here, and another Vivion and Lilligant. Uh, Claydog could be slightly annoying. Uh, Samurott should should wreck his squad from the looks of it. I really feel like he's just gonna lead Lantern. I really feel like like he's just gonna lead Lantern. Yeah, cause then I can't, cause then he just vault switches on, on whatever. I'm gonna lead Canelo, just because if he does lead Lantern, but no, he leads. <laughs> Please sleep powder. No! Oh, we live. Yes. <laughs> I need a boom burst here, unfortunately. I was really hoping that he would just go straight for the... For the move, but he didn't. So we can just mock punch it here. Actually, we may have been able to live a hurricane. So, early five. So three turns in, and it's already five, five. Swella going down really isn't that important because... He's got Regirock and he's got Cradilly, so yeah, Solo wasn't doing anything in this battle. Uh, the thought of going for U-turn did cross my mind though, but like I said, it's just, it's not doing anything this match. Uh, I'm just gonna Ice Punch this, because we should, yeah, look at that, that's like a 2 KO. Hello? Uh, what? Oh, no, he didn't even put us in tor- I thought he would put us in torrent. Oh, he just lived! He just lived! Hello? What? Well, hey, <laughs> back comes Machamp. Not Machamp, hello. Back comes Hitmonchan, as we're able to- I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I don't know what that was. Hey, seven turns in and it's four to four. Who would have thought? As in comes the lantern, you're getting this close. Co you're eating. You're taking this close combat to the face. Like, I don't care if you volt switch. I don't care if you scald. Just please take this close combat. As I do a clean 50%, which is really, really great. Really, really great. 
I'm going to close combat again just to be aggressive as we should take this Scald relatively easily. And we're going to be able to just 2 a KO the Lantern. So that's down. Uh, Cradilly could still be a bit of an issue. As I should be able to just to switch in the Reggie Rock here and get up my rocks. If anything, I still want Hazards up just to get off that little chip damage. And then if I can Toxic Spikes, that would be even better. Yeah, because I don't really see the need to T-Wave anything at this point. As the Earthquakes. What? Okay, so this is like... Banded or something. That's actually kind of terrifying. Ah, uh, that's actually a little scary. So I really wanted to double into Garboder there. I really, really wanted to double into Garboder there. But it's just, it's too risky right now. As I'm just going to T-Spike, I'd rather have, a, have up T-Spike right away before anything else. I'm going to Gunk Shot here. Just on the off chance that he does want to switch into Electivire right away. Yeah, so hopefully we don't miss here. As luckily we don't. Ooh, eat this. Eat that. That did a nice chunk of damage. Okay, so what do we not need here? Garboder can chew one Earthquake. Yeah, Garboder should be able to chew a Choice Bandit Earthquake. Look at that. Look at that. Get out of here, Electivire. What's super effective? Actually, no, that still did a, a respectable amount of damage. But luckily... Uh, we were able to take that, and that one little T-Spike is going to help wear down this Regirock and Cradilly uh, for the rest of my team, which uh, Lilligan should be able to win, I want to say. How much did Leaf Storm do? Leaf Storm did 53%, so if we can just whittle down um, Cradilly a little bit more, that would be really great. So I'm just going to Drain Punch spam here against this Regirock just to beat it down, because Regirock is extremely, <laughs> extremely fat. So unfortunately, he missed there, as I'm just going to Spike here. Uh, this way we can get off that extra little bit of damage on the Cradilly as it comes in. I'm not sure why he didn't just Earthquake right away. I'm guessing he thought I would switch into Lilligant. Uh, that wouldn't have been a bad play, I guess. Uh, yeah, I should be able to bring a Lilligant here and just... Just Giga Drain. Well, no. I'm, I think Regirock will live a Giga Drain. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Regirock could take a Giga Drain. So it's a roll, but he could be running a lot of Spadef EVs like I'm running. Yeah, because like I'm, I'm running a lot of Spadef EVs. Um, regardless though, I have to bring in Lilligan and I pretty much need to Leaf Storm. Yeah, because I can't risk uh, Giga Drain and him living because he's going to T-Wave me either way. So if I Leaf Storm, I knock him out. Don't get T-Waved. If I Giga Drain, he lives and he T-Waves me. So those those were the, the outcomes there. So what I'm going to do here is sack off Regirock and Healing Wish into Hitmonchan. And Hitmonchan should uh, pull out the victory here. I think Hitmonchan got like every KO except for Electivire. <laughs> so I'm just going to rock side. As I miss, that's fine. He missed Stone Edge. So it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It wouldn't have done uh, any more significant damage. As I can just Healing Wish here. And hopefully he doesn't recover. Yeah, I was thinking he could Ancient Power. But yeah, if I Healing Wish, then he can Ancient Power and get the boosts. As he does try to Ancient Power. And now uh, Hitmonchan can just come back in here. And I'm pretty sure Close Combat can knock this out. Even if it doesn't knock him out, he can't knock me out. And if he recovers, that's just a waste. So we are going to be able to pull out the final victory for this live. So yeah, I think that was a pretty good live. Like I said, unfortunately, uh, the first recording of this... Uh, my power went out halfway through it. But luckily, I think the second one came out a lot better than the first one. Uh, Samurai put in a lot of work, <laughs> except missing Hydro Pump and the Mega Horn, but it, it's fine. Uh, Assault Vest hit Monchan is really, really great. Uh, I messed up on my speed EVs here, though. I thought this was enough speed to outspeed um, Milk Tank, but it's not. But it's still enough to outspeed Base 55. It's like almost star before it Shell Smashes, which is really great. Scarf Lilligan. I actually really, really like Scarf Lilligan. I was kind of skeptical about this, but it's actually a pretty decent set. Uh, Mix Samurai, which is pretty cool. Dwayne the Rage Rock Johnson being an absolute monster. <laughs> absolute monster. And then uh, Swallow, uh, of course, another monster in its own right. So yeah, guys, uh, pay spin of this team is down in the description if you guys would like to use it. 
and uh, just touch it up to more of your liking. Like I said, this Regirock could maybe be a uh, Rhydon, but if it was a Rhydon, then we wouldn't have paraphrased Samurai down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you all for watching, <laughs> literally.